Pauline Kavaki had one of the most unprecedented cases of Ebola ever recorded by medical science. What you can see here is that's your cerebellum, okay? That's right down at the base of your brain. So this is the main laboratory here. Here at the University of Glasgow, Dr. Emma Thompson led the cutting-edge scientific team that worked tirelessly to find out what was wrong. Pauline's case is a, was already an unusual case. She had one of the highest viral loads ever recorded during her first illness. And so unusual things uh, can happen in that sort of situation. Once in the bloodstream, the Ebola virus will kill more often than not. Pauline Kafaki's initial infection was cleared after intensive treatment, including experimental drugs. But nine months later, she developed meningitis, a swelling on the brain which can be caused by a bacteria or a virus. Doctors were shocked to discover that it was caused by the same Ebola virus that had leaked into her spinal fluid and remained undetected. When Pauline was admitted to hospital again, scientists in Glasgow worked around the clock for 60 hours using the latest genetic sequencing technology to isolate and examine Pauline's Ebola virus. They found to their surprise that it was unchanged from her first infection. That information assured doctors that they could use the same treatments as before to tackle her new infection. Pauline's case is extremely rare. It, it was a landmark case. It was unprecedented. We'd never seen anything like it before anywhere in the world. Even in the many thousands and tens of thousands of survivors in West Africa. You said that uh, the virus has now been cleared from Pauline. Is there any risk at all or any concern from you that it might re-emerge and cause infection again in her? We've tested all of her bodily fluids and they are all negative for Ebola virus. We don't think it's likely that Ebola virus is lurking in Pauline's body. However, we have to uh, acknowledge that this is a uncharted territory and that we need to monitor things very carefully. OK, I'm going to introduce you to the lab. Pauline Kafaki has now met the scientists who helped to save her life from one of the world's most deadly diseases. And her case will no doubt help many more people survive Ebola in future. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Sorry for all the hard work. <laughs> Alok Jha, News at 10, Glasgow.